Has this ever happened to you? Where you're trying to get into your vehicle but the door handle broke or somebody broke your door handle. Let me show you how to fix this real quick. So the first thing you want to do is get on the inside, make sure your window is up and you want to take off any kind of cover like this around the inside door handle. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pop off any covers that have any kind of hardware behind them. Like this one has little bolts, little screws that hold the door panel in place. There's a metal piece that sticks up from the inside of the door that the door panel rests on and this attaches to it. This is the only hardware I have on mine besides a bunch of plastic clips. And I'll show you those plastic clips in just a moment. So right here, what I'm just using is a pry bar to get behind the door panel. So I've got a grip on the door panel and I can pull it up. You'll hear me pop these clips in just a second. Just listen for that pop. Now these plastic clips are kind of fragile, so you want to be careful not to pry too hard on them because they will break. So you just want to use consistent pressure pulling on them and they should come right out. See that, we're just gently pressing up. Now with the door panel, there is a hook on the top that slides down into a groove and you'll see where I lift up and pull out on these. Now, if you do have the hand crank styled windows, that's gonna be your first step is to take that hand crank off. But this vehicle has electric windows, so I don't have to take the crank off and I don't have to take the window controller off of it either. Uh, some vehicles do have electric doors and electric windows, you'll have to take the controller off of there. Uh, on this one, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the plug for that controller out, and then I'm just leaving that controller in the door panel. Later, later on, you'll see me pull the uh, controller out of the door panel so that I can feed the wiring through while I'm putting the door panel back on, and, and you'll, you'll get to see how that works. These two holes in the door are for you to be able to reach the hardware. Now, what I'm using here is going to be a couple of extensions on my ratchet. Uh, I wanted to use tools that you would have readily available around your house. Uh, a very cheap toolkit that you can get from your convenience store will do the trick here. Uh, with this, they're 10 millimeter nuts. So on some vehicles, they'll have nuts, some will have bolts. So we'll, we'll get into that in just a moment. And you wanna make sure your window is up because if it's down, your window will be between those holes and the hardware. Now with the door handle, you'll wanna lift up and pull out and you'll watch me rotate it just like that. On the back side of your door handle is going to be the lever that will activate the inside door latch. Uh, what you're going to want to do is take that clip off. The little pink thing at the top is the clip. We'll talk about the clips in just a moment. You're going to want to watch out on that. Be careful with it. The old one, it doesn't really matter, uh, but this has been on the vehicle for 20 years. So I'm using a wedge to get in there and kind of get behind it. That way I can get it pried out because there's a little bit of grime. And it's like I said, it's been on here for 20 years. It just pulls right out though. 
and you can see where the damage is on this door handle. It's just brittle plastic, and then we'll get into this in just a moment. I wanted to show you where this one failed. This one broke right here. I mean, it's just a, a weak point where you're putting a lot of pressure on this cheap plastic. Uh, now, this is not the locking style door handle. I brought a couple to uh, show you a comparison on. These are off of a, a Hyundai. Uh, somebody had put these like hangers on here to make the door handle work. I went in there and changed it. So the only difference in between this one is this one's gonna have the locking mechanism and this is off of each door. So that piece just really slides out and you can see it's still got the same kind of bolt pattern. It's just they have bolts instead of nuts on the uh, actual hardware. Uh, and then this is gonna be my new piece. This is my new part. Now the color on the clip could vary. Like this one's yellow for the, the Hyundai. This one's a grayed out. It's, it used to be white, but uh, the, the factory OEM part is uh, pink that I get off of this one that we just replaced. And the new replacement is a green color. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that they're basically the same style on, on most vehicles. It's just uh, depending on what their hardware setup is, it just differs there, but the clips are all the same. So here I am reinstalling and it's the same as pulling it out. You'll go up and in you may need to tap it a little bit because the bottom of the, the door handle will have these little grooves on it to hold it in place. And then this is me just putting the, the nuts back on to the new door handle. You'll want to keep your old hardware because it does not come with new hardware. And I've got a light shining up into the the inside of the door the door hand the the door so that you can uh, see a little bit better at what's going on inside. Here I'm just going to take this uh, cover and I'm going to put it back real quick and then I'm going to test the door to make sure that the door handle works. Now with this vehicle it's still a little difficult to open the door with that new handle because the rod inside needed to be adjusted so I went ahead and adjusted that rod and I'm going to put this door panel back on. So it's basically the reverse of what you just did except for like I said earlier, I did pull that electric window controller out of the door panel so I could feed that wiring harness through and get the door panel on much easier. And you'll see here, I'm going to pull that wiring harness through as soon as I get the door panel close enough. And then we go up to the top and let that hang on that groove that we were talking about earlier. I'm gonna line up all the plastic clips. It's basically just lining a peg up with a hole. And I've got that controller harness pulled to the side, that way it doesn't fall back in. Now I'm just tapping it around to make sure that everything's seated in place. Now we put the hardware back in for the door panel. All you gotta do is line up the holes, put the screws or bolts back in. And then once you're done with that, you can put the cover back on. And the way that I put the cover back on was that I slid it into place and then I just tapped it with that socket extension just to get it clipped back into place. And you'll see that in just a second. Next thing is the power window controller. Now, 
I'm going to test the power window. I'm going to roll it all the way down just to make sure that there's no obstructions inside that door before I fully put this door panel down back on. Because if there's an obstruction on the inside, we don't want to break the glass. We don't want to cause binding on the inside. And uh, then I'm going to put this, this cover on right here. And finally, I'm going to test the door again and make sure that everything is good to go. So if you guys like this video, you guys want to see more of these types of videos in my YouTube, let me know. Make sure you smash that like button.